Hi, this is John, and this is my tutorial for creating a box opening animation. Make a new comp. Make it square. Click OK. Right click and select new solid. Select a color that you'd like the box to be. Make another new comp. Drag your previous square comp into this one. Select the pan behind tool and move the anchor point to the bottom. Select comp 1, hit enter and rename side 1. Make the layer 3D and Control D to duplicate five times. So we now have six layers, one for each side of our box. Now it's just a matter of positioning each side in 3D space until we have a cube. Use the P key to adjust the position of the side and the R key to adjust the rotation of the side. If you change the view of the comp to front or left, you may find it easier to reposition the sides. Right click and create a new camera. And right click again and create a new null object. Make the null object 3D. Link the camera to the null using the pick whip. Press the P key to adjust the null object's position. Adjust the position of the null and camera until you have a view of the box that you're happy with. Right click and create a new light. Make it spotlight. And make sure cast shadows is selected. Press the P key to reposition the light. Right click again and create a new solid, make it white, this can be our background layer, and drag that solid to the bottom. Now find the layer that is the top, for me it's side 6, and the layer of the side that the top will hinge to, for me that is side 3 move the side layer so it's underneath the top layer and parent the top layer to the side layer using the pick whip. Select the layer that is the top of the box press the R key to reveal the rotation properties click on the stopwatch for the X rotation to create a new keyframe move forward a second and change its rotation to zero Put the time indicator between the two keyframes. Now select the side the top is parented to and press the R key again. Press the stopwatch for X again. Move forward a second and change its rotation to minus 90 degrees.
The next layer is the bottom of the box, and that doesn't get animated. That can be put just above the background layer. Select the next layer to be animated. For me, it's side four. Press the R key again. Press the stopwatch for X. Move forward in time one second and change its rotation to 90 degrees. Move the time indicator to two seconds. Select side two. Press the R key. Now these last two layers don't rotate in the way the others do. X, Y and Z don't work. Instead, press the stopwatch for orientation. Move forward one second and change the Z value to 90 degrees. Move back to 2 seconds 12. Select the last side, side 1. Press the R key. Press the stopwatch for orientation again. Move forward one second and change the Z value to 270 degrees. If you do a RAM preview, you should have an animated opening unfolding box. If you deselect all layers, and press the U key to display all animated keyframes. Select all the keyframes and press F9. Let's add some more shadows. Right click and add new solid. Make it white click OK. Put this white solid above the other white solid. Make this one 3D. Press R for the rotation and change X to 90. Change the view to front. Press P for the position and move it so it's below the box. Change the view back to camera 1. Press S for scale. And scale up a lot. Twirl down the solid properties until you get to material options. And change accept shadows to only. Select all our side layers and press AA and change cast shadows to on. And that's the opening box animation. If you want to put something inside the box, it's just a matter of repositioning it in 3D space. I'm just going to create some text. And make it 3D. And move it to the center of the box. You can move it in the layer stack so that it is underneath the front two sides, just for peace of mind. And so it doesn't get in the way of the other sides. Press AA and turn cast shadows to on. And that's it. Hope this helps. If you have Element 3D, there will be a link in the description for the tutorial on how to create this in Element 3D. Thanks for watching.